I'm Liv Kenya and my friends and I are traveling from Nairobi, Kenya all the way to Cape Town, South Africa. You're using the garden route, using this car. This is our story. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining us in this adventure. We are currently in South Africa, so stay tuned and enjoy. When you are talking to each other, you speak Swahili or yes, you speak Swahili. your native language? Swahili. We have very different native, native languages. Native language. Ah, you're not from the same. No. no. We are in Simon's town and we are heading to see the penguins in Boulders Beach. Yes, Boulders Beach to see penguins for the first time. Valentino, have you ever seen a penguin? So this is going to be the first time. Yes, <laughs> if they are here. If they are here. And then just behind us, look at that hill. Beautiful. And Simon's town is such a beautiful, beautiful town. The only case city in town has gotten us here. I mean you people, Pearl has gotten this far and God has brought us this far. So these are the type of penguins. These one emperor penguins and priests it's got chin strap penguins they are all in antarctica and then this one the one that looks like it had some sort of fail this one i think is the one that is here rock hopper penguin yeah because this one are in atlantic india shape part of new zealand yes this one's are where antarctica around antarctica, antarctica. Mm -hmm. it's a part of south africa but some bit of atlantic also 
apparently all the oceans crisscross in Antarctica. Yes. Pacific, Atlantic, Indian. the kids are here and then the parents are going to eat to bring them some food yeah they are children these are penguins they are their chicks so probably their parents have gone to eat in the high seas to get some food and then they'll come back and feed them they can all identify this the voice of their parents that geo at work i watch a lot of that geo that's how i know you see how we can identify that their kids you see those Different types. This is down, down those light feathers. feathers. Down, they do not have like real feathers. They, most of them have the down, some have shed them off. Have the down. So, our experience about seeing the penguins is awesome seeing the animals for the first time. But what Outs you outside the TV? Yeah. Outside the TV, I, at least I got to apply my geo knowledge yes. on the penguins. I looked like the smartest person in that area at that time. <laughs> this is what we think. I think they charge too much. It's too much. We're just looking at animals that are just standing there. Almost 2,000 Kenyan shillings is a lot. It's too much. But we haven't gone to other historical sites or other um, touristic sites to be able to compare. So this is our first time paying anything in Cape Town. Let's see how the other charges go. Maybe they are not high and we are complaining here. <laughs> but I think I think because it might be a bit pricey because maybe it is the only place in Africa yes. where you can be able to see the penguins, right? Here in Namibia. Here in Namibia yes. are the only places you can be able to see the penguins. Now because of their uniqueness, I think that is why it's expensive. Because they know you don't have an option. <laughs> And have you seen how many people are there? There are too many people. In fact, when you come, I don't know what time is best, but you come right now and it's just crowded. So let me show you the rest of the view. It's a beautiful place, very beautiful. I, I said underwhelming. Maybe because I've watched too many videos and I, I expected much, I expected, too much on that video. I expected very large penguins. I expected a lot of action. Them fighting and then Yeah, mating. just some the, the the adults feeding the kids. Uh. I don't know what they some of them jumping into the water but they were just there. But do come. It's it's, it's well, the only let me place tell you something. It's the only place you're going in Africa you're going to see. I know, Nat Geo has spoiled us. That is all I can say. <laughs> Nat Geo has spoiled us. I'm sure we did, we'd be so excited if we could not have seen all these animals on Nat Geo. Yes. And other than here, you, the only other place you can see penguins is in Namibia. But what Valentino says, the last time he was there, he, could, he was not able to see. The last time he was in Namibia, he was not able to see penguins. So maybe this is the only other option you have for you to see penguins. Yeah, come to Walter's Beach. Yes, but I just wish they would make their prices a bit friendly. Okay. Why we are complaining is because we, of feel, the like, cost. we feel like the, the cost is so high. Uh -huh. Yes, it does not match up with what we have seen. But because of its uniqueness, let them charge them. Yeah, let them charge that amount. The same way Rwanda charges 150,000 for their gorillas. Yes, it's yet, half yet that. You can see. Not even half. 10,000 Kenya shillings, you can see gorillas in Uganda. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am.
Uh, I really enjoyed it because I thought we could see only one or two penguins and I thought they would, I thought they would be very far but they were very close and very a lot of them so it was very nice okay i'm just looking at you like that because <laughs> my opinion is almost <laughs> the contrary of that <laughs> i but think maybe you, I, I you think had some, uh, uh, some expectation. Yes. yes the problem is i've watched a lot of that video and i feel like i've already seen them now just, just seeing them lying there with no action it felt a bit underwhelming considering the amount of money we pay I think that amount was a bit high. Yes, yes. yes. you also agree that the yeah, amount yeah. is a bit too expensive. Yeah. Clearly too expensive. It was too expensive. It was if it was maybe fifty runs. Yes. Or maybe up to seventy runs it would be okay. But that 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 amount of money no, we expect more yeah, yeah. Even for Etosha you pay less than yeah. how much do you pay in Nigeria? Like, you said in Etosha in Namibia. How much do you pay? 150. 150. And it's the same uh, value. The money is the same value. So it's almost 150 rand. Yes, it's the same. Me. And you can stay for, you can see, can see many animals, you can stay for 24 hours. Oh, so it's not only the pet, you can see many other things. Ah, no, you can see all the elephants, giraffes. Like ah, so it's a proper game drive or something. Is yeah, it? it's, it's, yeah. it's a big national park. You, you see? Now that so one, that too, one is what it is. It is too expensive. Yeah. Look at this, look at what we just came across on our way to Cape of Good Hope. This is insane! What? Yeah, what do you think? I feel for you to to utilize your money extensively. You need to come here early, early in the morning. the morning and do the trek, do the flying Dutch cable thingy. For you to really utilize that you money, get, you go to keep Cape of Good Hope, yeah. Cape Point. It's a it's a whole. I've got a brochure here. It's yeah. a whole list of things to do here. Yeah. And I think most of them, like maybe using the, it's called the Dutch. Flying Dutch. Flying Dutch. That one it it costs you some extra money. I think hiking, not hiking. Um, cycling it costs extra money. Marine species to see them it's two a two hundred rand. Cycling is one hundred and four rands. That one is even for South Africans and it's three ninety for international people. Boat riding, two hundred rands. Oh my god. Ah. Yeah, you need to have a lot of money. Yeah, you need to have a lot of money to actually get to experience all this. And also you need to come very early to utilize your money. It's 400 rands for adults and 200 for children. For members of SADIC it's 200 rands for adults, 100 for children. But for South Africans, uh, it's 100 rands for adults and 50 rands for children. Yeah. Basically come here before five. It is safer whichever season come before five. Getting into the national park, it will be upon you. You'll, you'll, you, it depends with how bad you need it and you, how much money you have and how much time you have. So consider all that. But for us, we don't have much time. We are, we are supposed to spend almost five days in Cape Town, but we only have around four or three days. So we don't have that much time. But please ensure, come all the way to this. Even if you want to get in, just come all the way. It, it's worth it. The views are beautiful. So let's go, let's continue with our circuit. Remember, we are still on the peninsula. So next destination, Nadia? First we'll go to Hout Bay. I am not sure if we should, but we'll let you know. 
yeah. it's getting late yeah it's getting late the point it's was to catch the sunset at how to bay let's see it's still very early So guys, it was such a beautiful, beautiful view from up here in Chapman, Chapman's Peak. It is a tunnel, it is man-made tunnel, but it has the best view of the ocean, the best view of the of the mountains. I'm telling you, just what the doctor ordered and just what you usually dream about when you think of mountains and oceans meeting together in one place. Oh my friend, it is totally worth it and guess what, it's free of charge. We haven't paid anything, we've seen that there, there is a toll somewhere where we are supposed to pay 40 runs but we've not gotten there and we're already at the Chapman's Peak. So I would say it's free of charge, right? Yes. It's free of charge but the wind, oh my god, it can carry from your I'm house to work or it can carry from wherever you are to someone else's relationship, it's that serious. If, if you come here, if you <laughs> if you come here with a bicycle, you won't survive. In fact, you can't even walk on these roads, right? You cannot walk. Yeah, <laughs> Valentino, can you walk? Uh, can you walk here? Maybe yes. Eh, but no. Pedestrians maybe are not allowed fly. here. You can fly. Yeah, Pedestrians are, can not, fly. are not allowed here because of the eh, the wind is just too much. Oh my god! You can literally stand there for maximum five minutes. I'm already cold. See? I'm shivering. She's shivering. I'm covering myself with some trench coat here. It's cold, but it was worth it. So let the adventure continue. So today we've done so much, and we are so we feel so accomplished. One this is the first stop, and we one home. more stop, and then we get somewhere to sleep. And hey, it will be our day well spent. So let's go.
climbed up to the peak where we are supposed to see everything you literally see everything you can see like it is like a para it's called paranomic view of the mountains the oceans and this entire channel so guess what we've been lucky again today to see some very beautiful cars they are almost seven they just passed by oh my come and see them up close look at that <laughs> Wow! Wow. Wow, this is a treat. Good morning from Cape Town. It is our first morning in the city and as we were packing our stuff from the lodge where we stayed, we came across some Kenyans who are kind enough to show us how to maneuver the city and the best way to visit it. Benjamin and his daughter, our Kenyan friends, are taking us to V&A Waterfront which is 10 minutes from where we stay so that we can be able to pick the red bus. Everything else does not work. So you want to get a plan or not? In fact, you come in the first thing you come. Thank you. My food is the most colorful food in this place, in this table. Yummy. It is yummy. Mm. Adia has tried my food before it worked. Adia, no, yeah. I sweet potato chips. This is the first time I'm seeing them. And they are, are you serious, Adia? Yes, I'm very serious. I've never, I've never tasted it. And it's sweet potato, potato chips. Yes, it's really awesome. Where are you going? I'm having the most delicious food on this table and everyone wants my food. Mm. Morning from Cape Town and I'm next to someone different you've never seen. Hi, how are you? <laughs> and his daughter. Huh? So this is our official first day in Cape Town and uh, we're excited. Can you hear me? And we're having very delicious meals. Can you hear me? 
There's the wrap. Sandwich wrap. Patrick is waiting for his. And welcome to Cape Town. Hello? We'll be taking the red bus today. And we have so many things to show you, so stay tuned. We are at the waterfront. Look at those seals sunbathing there. Ah, he came out of the water and then he will just lie there. So this is the waterfront. You can see the the yachts. Look at that. There's the table mountain over there. We'll go there later. Then the the city behind it. So we started our journey from Nairobi and we're right now we're in uh, Cape Town. This was our final destination but we still have to go to two other countries we've never been before so stay tuned. So let's explore Cape Town. Much of Cape Town's early architecture reflected prototypes from the Netherlands that were modified for the region. The characteristics included flat roofs, projecting porches, and distinctive gambles. Today, buildings in the central business district on the foreshore follow modern international trends in architecture.
Cape Town, I'm speechless. <laughs> From the first day we got to Cape Town, which was yesterday, we did not come to the city immediately. We did the peninsula up to now. I'm just in awe of the beauty in Cape Town. I love the fact that they have taken advantage of the natural beauty and they've made it, they have found a way to just flaunt it. Adia. I have no words. It's truly the mother city. So beautiful. Make it your bucket list destination. Just a must it. do. Just ensure you come to the Table Mountain. The view, just look at that. You can see the entire city from here. You can see that it's called the Devil's Peak. Lion's head. All you know, we have come to see scenic mountains, and that is all that counts. There are so many tourists. I don't know if this is high season already. I thought it wasn't, but ah. no, it's low season. Most people take advantage of the local. The local. Yes, now you can come this far with your car. You can come with your car, or you can come with the red bus. But because we are rushing and do not have time, we have to take the red bus uh, because. It takes you literally everywhere. At the end of the day, we'll try, try to tally and see which places will not have come and which places will have gone. So guys, if you're joining me for the first time, what are you waiting for? Subscribe already. You'll always see such, such interesting and beautiful places. I'm in Kenya and I'm with my friends here, Patrick behind the camera, Adia and Jane over there. She's still taking photos. Jane, say hi. Hi people. This is just awesome. This country keeps surprising us now and then. Oh my God. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Just plan to get yourself in South Africa one of these fine days. You'll love it. Yes. Definitely, definitely. So we're going to pay the ticket for getting into the Table Mountain. Here are the charges. So I think this one is for the cable car. From 1 p.m. there's a discount from 420 to 360. So probably we pay this. We wanted to do one way and then we hike back uh, the, the other way but we do not have much time and we still have a lot of things to do. So we will just pay the two way. Now we are going to pick some water, pay some ticket and then get on the cable car. I can't wait, it will be my first time. The model of the table mountain uh -huh. that is the cable cable station followed by the lion's head and then there is the robin island further then followed by signal hill uh, one of the games in world cup was played in that stadium up there and then this is the city 
It is a big city. Yeah, Surrounded by the waterway. Mm -hmm. The rest of the yes. city. And then mm -hmm. devil's speak kind of over mountain. there. Yes. Every viewpoint there is this binoculars where you have to pay five brands to use it. I'm going shark cage diving tomorrow. Uh -huh. Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> No, no. And I was just saying, a uh, GoPro. She, she needed a, a GoPro. <laughs> You're not scared of the shark. I've had months to think about it. I booked it months ago. Yeah, what What is your Keboka experience? I expected it to be scary, but somehow it was really comfortable. You you, you did you feel the, the did you feel the 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 ground rotate? I, I did not feel it. You didn't, but did you notice? No, I just noticed the the, the windows. I didn't notice, and I expected to have a G-force, but it wasn't there. It was in. It was comfortable. It was comfortable. But the floor was rotating. That is why you could see all angles. From the floor. Yes. I did not notice. It wasn't the door rotating. It was the floor rotating. Nature trail, nature trail. People, different angles of this. Have you noticed the different types of vegetation up here? This one looks like a humongous aloe vera. It is a humongous aloe vera. It's so beautiful. I didn't think aloe vera could get this beautiful. Which mountain is this? It's still part of the Table Mountain. Oh my goodness. So the trail is so long depending on how far you can go. The people who've gone that far. This is the best month to come here. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's relatively hot. Mm -hmm. No sun, no wind, wind storms. Yeah, no wind storms, no breeze. They're called Cape Storms. Cape Storms? Yes. Okay, you need to come here. It's not too windy. It's just hot enough. Just and by the way, do you know how much I bought this one down there at the, at the, the place where you pay the ticket? 27 runs for 500 milliliters. Just carry your water. Carrier, and then that guy was selling it. He was he was saying twenty seven, and he's laughing. And then he's saying, "Welcome to, welcome to <laughs> Table <Demo> Mountain." <laughs> and this is how expensive it is here. Yeah. Carry a small backpack. Carry water. Uh -huh. Carry carry sunscreen. So water, sunscreen, sunglasses, sunglasses, and be full. Eat before you come here. Yes, the food must be exorbitant up here. So eat, drink, carry more drinks. And you can even and come enjoy. alone, by the way. So many people are offering to take us photos. I don't know, it's because we are looking good today. Yes. Adi, are we twinning today? We are twinning. We are actually twinning. Let, let me just do this. And it wasn't intentional. We just came out of our rooms and somehow we were dressed the same. So. Yes, so everyone is offering to take us photos. Even though was, the, our, our highlight was an old couple. 
Let's talk a very beautiful picture. Ooh. Very beautiful picture. I think she's I think she's trying out photography. And she's good. And she's good. Oh huh? I see this was just like I and can I just you know we have language barrier here, the French people, the German here, Russians and all that. And then she was like, can I just take a photo of you? And then we were like, should we take a photo of you or we should take a photo of us? And then she was like, just bring your phone. Yes. <laughs> oh, they are very nice people here. Ah. The trail continues. The trail continues. Look, all the way. We might go all the way. I don't know where the rest of the people are, but we'll get there. Wake up very early in the morning because it's in first, the red bus, because it's in first take two days. Is it 100 rounds extra? Is it is it a hundred runs extra? Yes. Yes, yes. If you do a day, it's two ninety five. If you do two days, it's three ninety five. But if you book them separately, you'll pay two ninety five twice. Yeah, you'd pay. So that's a better deal. It's a good deal. Tomorrow is is the winery day for these ladies. <laughs> hmm? Adia is so excited about the wine. Yeah, I am. Do you have panadols? You are going to about I, to have I a proper have, headache. I have a box full of panadols. Thank you, lad. Because headache is just knocking. He's calling me. Now imagine they want to drag me to the wineries, yet I don't I don't drink. They often have chocolates. Now I'm going to I'm eat the chocolates. They have chocolates. I can't take chocolates and water. You can't. No. You are so fruity. Why do, why do you want me to why, why do you want me to add weight? It's just for a day you'll burn it anyway. <laughs> hey. Thanks, tips. You will yeah, pay you here by food. Okay. Imagine our faces. 15%. 15%. Okay. 15% is fine, but it's supposed to it's supposed to be given willingly, not yeah, by force. Yeah, and we were like <laughs> culture shock. Culture shock. Okay, one of the culture shocks. I think things in Cape Town. Not even Cape Town. Things in South Africa are expensive. Especially as we approach Cape Town from it's called Kebeha. Kebeha. Yes, to here. Oh, oh. Everything. Even buy
so we are going to those rocks over there and this is a proper beach you'll see all kinds of activities football sunbathing meditation running camping oh not camping picnics swimming in the atlantic but if you if you knew how to swim would you swim in the atlantic actually i would try because it's really i've come all this way it's too cold like i know today it has been hot a bit yeah but the weather today was favorable they, I would wish to try. they say the water in atlantic is colder during summer than winter. during winter so the water is cold just look at this sand it's quite coarse yeah compared to it has so many shells it? it has bigger bigger rocks look at this bigger rocks and shells look at these ones what are these ducks yeah look at them Here we go. This is everyone's favorite spot. Yes, it is, and I found mine. <laughs> Look at this. Woo. This is now the spot we are coming to take a photo. You know, you said you're trying to paint that. This is where you do your exercise, just next to the beach. And Adia is trying. Adia, are you sure you're doing it right? I don't think so. I don't think I'm doing it right. But this is fun. You need to try this. One, two, three, go. I think my hands will ache after here. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll keep asking yourself what you did the whole day. Now you need some ice cream. Yeah, now I need some ice cream. Jen, I know it will cancel the work that I have done, but I need ice cream. Just next to the beach, there are so many restaurants, clubs, like that one is a club. Or is it a pub? Yes. Uh, so many restaurants and all that. Now when you come here, just know that the last bus will pick you from here at 6.50. So we only have like three minutes, that's why we are rushing. We came in a bit late. Are you Kenya? But you're from Rwanda? Ah! 
Before the Witwatersrand Rand Gold Rush and development of Johannesburg, Cape Town was the largest city and economical hub in Southern Africa. Today, it is one of South Africa's most important industrial centers and a major seaport. About one-ninth of the fish eaten in South Africa is distributed through Cape Town, and Table Bay is one of the world's largest fruit exporting harbors. The best way to tour the city is using the red bus. You'll be taken around the city and you'll also be given a lot of information and history about significant places in the city. In the bus, you'll be given earphones which you'll use to listen to the pre-recorded audio guide as you continue with your tour. a great day in the city tour actually we've done like less than a quarter we booked for two days so today was day one we started from one and we spent most of the time in table mountain trust me you will spend a lot of time in table mountain because you'll see it from very different viewpoints and oh my heart is full let me tell you guys even if we packed our stuff and left right now my heart is full because the things we've seen 
Did you know Table Mountain is one of the wonders of the world? Mm -hmm. huh? Yes. And so far we've seen two. It's Victoria Falls and uh, Table Mountain. Mountain. So I'm, ve I'm one very happy lady. <sighs> very happy. So uh, we are going back to where we stayed yesterday night. And we are hoping that we can book there and then we can come back to the waterfront to see what happens at night. We'll be coming back to the waterfront and hopefully we'll meet Benjamin. Benjamin is the guy we met yesterday. We met in the morning. Guess what? This is how we met. We were busy packing our car and then we were speaking in Swahili. And then we were like, huh? is he talking to us? And then we just realized, it just clicked. He's, he must be a Kenyan. And then that is just how we started having the interactions. So, Cape Town, you're a beautiful city. You have surpassed our expectation and we are still here to see more tomorrow. Now, this is what I can tell you. We usually do city tours by ourselves in our car. But when you come to these cities, Johannesburg and Cape Town, just use the red bus. You see the, the earphones we had? There you are being told the, story, the history and what, what to see in every station. So you'll get a lot of information. So, see you at the CV, at the seafront. in the morning <laughs> after the tour the city tour is when now my eyes are open our tour of cape town has just begun stay tuned as we intend to explore it some more in the coming days before proceeding to namibia which is our next country please like the video and share it with your friends also comment below on what you think of our journey so far if you are new to the channel welcome aboard i hope by now you have considered subscribing and also staying tuned as the journey is still on